Hello and welcome to the SAP Business One Integration Framework series. And in this session, we're going to cover how you can use PaperCut in order to have a local SMTP server as well as a local email viewer. So this way you don't have to use a real SMTP server and email system to test emails going out and in of your B1I server. So now, first of all, we'll uh, need to uh, download PaperCut and you can do that by just searching for PaperCut in Google. And you see the PaperCut Home, uh, it's, should, it's going to be it's a free uh, application from uh, CodePlex, Microsoft CodePlex. And it's, uh, uh, this is the information about the, the tool itself which is actually is an email receiver so it's going to uh, capture any type of uh, communication going and it's going to mimic an, an SFTP server as well as be able to view and receive emails. Um, so first let's download the tool. So now uh, it was downloaded. Now all I have to do is just to execute it. And it's going to install PaperCut in your system. And that's it. So now we have PaperCut here. Uh, and this is the welcome uh, message that you get. Next, you will ha you'll be have to uh, configure your uh, B1i server to actually um, use the local SMTP server. So let's log in. And then uh, you can go to maintenance tab. And here we'll have the configure connectivity. This is where we're going to actually configure your SMTP configuration of your B1IF server. So first of all, uh, you'll be able to go to the SMTP protocol uh, and, and specify what protocol you're going to use. And it's going to be SMTP here. And then you're going to specify the server itself. It's going to be local host, the port number, And that's it, you actually don't need anything else. So you don't need any user. So you can actually clear this up here. And you don't need any password. So you can save that. So let's click on save. And then click OK. And configuration was saved. All I have to do now is you can test to make sure this actually works. So click on test email. And let's type here uh, from email address. And also the two email address. That's it. An email was sent uh, to uh, this recipient. And you can see here you got a pop-up message on the bottom right. If you open that, you see that you got a test email uh, from B1i server. And that's it. So now whenever you use email communication, uh, meaning you want to send an email from B1i, it will use this local uh, email system and you will be able to see the email communication going out. And you don't really need to specify here any type of uh, real um, SMTP and exchange server information and in order for you to actually test and validate that your email communication is, is, is functioning correctly. That's it. Thank you very much for joining the session.